Yes or no, Whitney? I need an answer. Are we gonna get married right away, or are we gonna break up? You know, this isn't exactly how I imagined this happening. God, Chad, I hate ultimatums. Why are you pressuring me like this? Whitney, I think I've been pretty patient. You know I love you, Whitney. Stop these silly suspicions. I've done everything I can to reassure you, and Whitney, I can't go on like this. We share a bed together, yet you won't even let me touch you. I need an answer now, Whitney. Are we gonna get married as soon as possible or not? So everything I need to know about Jared is right in here. I dug and dug and got some good dirt on your pal. He's not my pal. And I knew I was right about that guy. I knew it. I'm gonna get Teresa the hell away from him before she makes a mistake she'll regret forever. Like, marry him? Don't, no, don't, <laughs> don't even say something like that, all right? Let's see what you found, huh? What the hell is this? It's empty. Well, what'd you want to ask me? All right. Now that I'm here right now, I don't really know how to start. <laughs> um, well, I've never really talked to anyone about this before. And I didn't think I'd be this nervous. Um, you don't have to be nervous. You can, you know, ask me anything. It's okay. What is it? Charity, whatever happens, Kay can't find out about us. Sweet girl, but she wouldn't understand. <sighs> no, I don't understand. I understand. Of course we have to keep it quiet. My cousin Kay can't ever find out we're in love. It would hurt her so much. Charity, I think it's hot. Putting on an act in front of Kay. And seeing you on the side. That's terrible. My character would put up with a selfish man like that. Miguel? That doesn't sound like you. What, what, what are you doing? Ad living. You have no idea how to write a love scene. Uh, I'm sorry, Charity. You're forgiven, Miguel. I'll forgive you anything as long as our sweet, sweet love goes on till the end of time. Charity, I need your help. Big time. Anything, Miguel, you know that. What we had was amazing while it lasted, but it's over. We've both moved on. And I'm glad you're happy. And I've found happiness here in harmony with Kay. But for some reason, she thinks I'm still in love with you. Why would she think that? We haven't spoken in years now. Exactly. I have no idea, which is why I need you to call her and tell her the truth. Tell her that we haven't seen each other or even spoken to each other since you left town. <laughs> well, let's hope this works. Maybe I was wrong to use police resources to help Miguel find charity. Well, like they say, all's fair in love and war. Let's give Fancy a call again. Hey, you've reached Fancy. We have a message. Hey, Fancy. It's me, Luis. Calling you again. It's getting a little old. Uh, well, call me. Oh, I love you. Kelly. What are you still doing here? Uh, I'm going. What, no compliments on this knockout dress? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the dress is great, but uh, aren't you supposed to be on the stakeout with Bert? Well, I was supposed to go, but Fancy volunteered to take it in my place so I could go to my Christmas party. What? You didn't know. Fancy seemed really eager. Oh, that's it. Oh, I like it. Oh, you like it, don't you? You never Really give it to Kay. I want this to, to be the end of it. 
I appreciate how understanding you are. Not many women would be content with this situation, but if you won't marry me, I'll feel obligated to marry Kay. For our daughter's sake. Maria's sake. <sighs> Children. That's what it's all about, isn't it, Miguel? Stick to the script. It's a terrible script. You don't know how to write women, or at all, for that matter. Uh, I, I feel obligated to marry Kay for our daughter's sake. You already said that, lover. Right, uh, uh, I really do want to be there for our daughter. She needs her father growing up, but you, Charity, you're the woman in my heart. I love you so, 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 so much. Besides being terrible, this is I am paying you, remember? Now just read it like I wrote it. I love you too, Miguel. My love for you is as deep as the raging, tempestuous ocean. My love for you is as high as the azure sky. It's as high as the cold reaches of outer space. I hate to hurt Kay this way, but it's for her own good. I've got to get her to cut her ties to Miguel so she'll marry me. My love for you burns as hot as the incandescent lava at the center of the Earth. I was watching a science show when I wrote it. Coin. Like tectonic plates that move continents, our love is unstoppable. Kay won't even listen to a word I say, Charity. The only way to convince her we're through is if you come back to Harmony. <sighs> Miguel, I'm so sorry. I understand your problem, but I, I can't come back to Harmony. Don't you remember how it was before I left? No, I remember my heart being broken. M Miguel, I oh, it's hard for me even to think about that. My memories are so painful. I was so hurt when I found out that Kay was pregnant with your child. I know. What happened in that cave? Miguel, I loved you, but what I remember most about Harmony is that evil stalked me everywhere I went. Strange things have happened here. That's a bit of an understatement, don't you think? I've started a new life, Miguel. I've cut myself off from my past. I'm happy. I'm so sorry, but I don't think I can face the idea of going back to Harmony. Please, Charity. Miguel, try to understand. Harmony is full of bad memories. I mean, my God, my mom burned to death almost as soon as we moved there. Can you understand how painful it would be for me? Yes, I can. I can. I gave Fancy a direct order. I told her not to take part in that stakeout. God, I can't believe her. I'm sorry, Luis. Well, it's not your fault. I'm sure she just twisted you around her little finger. You know she's good at that. I, I just feel badly. I would never have gone along with it if I'd known it. It's just, I have a new boyfriend, and he invited me to this amazing Christmas party. Dinner, dancing, Santa Claus, even with gifts for everyone. And... Kelly, like I said, it is not your fault. You're not the one who defied a direct order. You're not the one who thinks she's exactly right about everything on the planet. Now, Fancy is a smart cadet, and she'll make a good cop. Oh, really? Because last time I checked, she's the one who landed us on the front page when she forced her way into the strip club setup. And she's the one who almost got herself killed when she went after the murder suspect on her own. And now, now she thinks that she can handle sex crimes? I see what you mean. Calm down, though. I'm sure she's fine. Yeah, well, let's hope so. Sorry, Luis. I, I'm late. Go ahead. Really, she will be fine. Bert's her backup, and he's got enough experience for both of them. Night. Night. Have fun at your party. Guess that explains why Fancy's not answering her phone. She's either got it turned off, or she's avoiding me. Just check in with Bert, see how things are going. Bert. <clears throat> Bert, it's Louise. How are things going down there? Listen, man, you're overdue checking in. Listen, Bert, I need you to pick up. <clears throat> Listen, hey, it's Luis. I found out that you're uh, riding shotgun on the woman, on that idiot fancy crane. You better be there. 
I don't want to find out that you went on a coffee and donuts run where you're supposed to be babysitting a rookie. <laughs> 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 Time's up. Woody, I need an answer. Are you gonna marry me right away? Chad, come on, please. But enough. Whitney, I've heard it all before. Look, I'm not just doing this for me. I'm doing this for Miles, too. He deserves a mother and a father. Look, I, I know. I know what Miles needs, Look, Chad. Look, Whitney, I love you. But I guess if this goes on any longer, love just isn't enough. I want to spend the rest of my life with you, and you keep shutting me down, Whitney. I can't go on like this. And you need to make a commitment to marry me right away, or we need to figure out the details on us splitting up. Come on, Chad. No, you can't sit on the fence. Do we have a future together or not? Chad. Come on, man. Come on. Are you going to let me get a word in? Yes. Chad, yes. I'll marry you. You will. Well, what did I just say? Yeah. You're sure? No, 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 no more doubts, no suspicions. I, I'm going to take a leap of faith, you know, and, and, and trust you. Yes. <sighs> oh, maybe I knew you would. This is what love is all about. I mean, Miles is going to have a real mother and father. Well, he already does. <laughs> you know what I mean. I mean, we're going to be Mr. and Mrs. Chad Harris Crane, American family. You know, we're going to need to get a house. And maybe after the honeymoon, we can come back and get a dog. OK, slow down, all right? <laughs> baby, baby, you've made me the happiest man on Earth. I can't wait to tell everybody. Aren't you forgetting one little thing? Not a chance. Is this some kind of joke? The envelope is empty. There's nothing in here. That's right. There's nothing in here. What kind of game are you playing, huh? What are you doing, Just huh? Just let me go. Every time we meet, you start to manhandle me. Where'd you go to law school, Rikers Island? You better get used to it, JT, because you promised me the goods on Jared, and you haven't delivered. Now, what is going on, huh? Well, what are you going to do? Are you going to make me uh, sleep with the fishes? I mean, calm down. I did dig up the dirt on your friend. He's not my friend. Where is the dirt. I, we made a deal, remember? I find out about Jared and you solve my problems with the IRS. Have you done that yet? It's in the works, well, okay? not good enough. Get on it. I need a clean bill of health from Uncle Sam so I can stop living my life in hiding. Now, as soon as that's done, I will give you the goods on Jared. And trust me, it's good. It is really good. Why don't you tell me why I should believe you, huh? Well, why wouldn't you? I'm an equal opportunity sleazeball. I mean, you help me, I help you. And believe me, if you care about that little foxy to Teresa like I think you do, you're going to want to know what I found about Jared. I wouldn't want any woman I cared about going anywhere near a guy like that. Now, will you please let me go? Yeah. It's all stretched out. You better be telling me the truth. I swear on a dozen Bibles. I knew Jared was up to no good. Yeah, you can bet on that. And tell the IRS I said so! Uh, well? Yeah, uh, well, this isn't easy. Um, Look, you know, you said you wanted to ask me something. Just ask me. Okay. I, I realized that we haven't known each other all that long. I sound like an idiot. Um, no, you don't. All right. I've come to care a lot about you. I've come to care a lot about you. And I think we're great together. So do I. And little Ethan, he's just such an incredible kid. He had a wonderful time with you at the ice skating pond. Yeah, and he, he destroyed me at checkers. He likes you. That's important to me. Yeah. No, me too. And... You know, I was hoping that we could spend a lot more time together. I'd, I'd like that. Yeah. And, um, well, I was thinking that, um, you know, the most, uh, um, the easiest way for us to, to spend more time together would be if, um, if we were to... Oh, oh. one second. Right back. Hello? Teresa? Hey, honey, it's me. 
Um, guess what? I took your advice. I took a leap of faith. <laughs> Jai and I are getting married. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whitney, this. Uh, did you set a date? Yes, actually. Um, Christmas Eve. So come down here. Come to the seascape so we can celebrate. <laughs> um, I, I'm with Jared. Oh, that's okay. Jared can come too. Oh my gosh, we have so many things to plan, don't we? What, what are, are you coming or what? Come on. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't miss this for the world. Oh my God, uh, Whitney Russell, she's getting married. Uh, you, you, we've been talking about this day since we were like seven years old. It's gonna happen for you. I know, I know. Well, I'll see you soon then. Break out the champagne, baby. Woohoo! That was Whitney. I gathered that. They're getting married. They're actually gonna do it. And then they, uh, Chad Whitney, they, they want us to meet him at the Seascape for a celebration. Now, you don't mind, do you? No, no, no. If that's what you want, of course not. Okay, great. Um, oh, oh, that question. What, what, what did you want to ask me? No, it, it can wait. You know, I'd like your undivided attention when we talk about it. It sounded really important, though. I can wait, I can wait. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, okay, all right. Um, gosh, I'm just so happy for her, you know? <laughs> Another Christmas wedding. Don't you just love it when yeah. people get married? <laughs> all right. I'd like to try it. Oh, I wish we were talking about another wedding. I can wait. Teresa's, uh, she's worth waiting for. <laughs> My great love, I can't wait to make love to you again. And I can't wait to make sweet love to you, my darling, darling boy. Making love to you is the most incredible thing I've ever experienced. If I died in your arms, I'd die a happy man. I feel the same way, sweetheart. I can't wait to lie in your arms again. But I hope it's in a bed this time. That shed was freezing. I should feel guilty, but I don't. Kay deserves this. She betrayed me before. She tricked you into sleeping with her. All I can think about is you, beautiful you. I can't wait to feel you in my arms again, feel your heart beating against my chest. I feel exactly the same way, my love. Give me a kiss to tide me over until we're together again. judged someone so badly. I can't believe that I believed him when he said that he loved me. Well, it wasn't that fun. Well, you got through it, and that's all I really care about. I hate cold readings. Hey, you did great. Though I could have done without the ad libs. It was better my way. Don't you think you went a little far? I mean, it must have killed Kay to hear all that. No. She has to believe that Miguel's a first-class heel. Well, I mean, well, that conversation must have done the trick. <sighs> I hope so. I thought you loved this girl. How can you be so happy about breaking her heart? I'm not. You put on a good act. Hey, look, it kills me to hurt Kate like this, all right? But she'll get over it. This is for the best. Or she loves me. And I'm the one that's going to make her happy. And once she gets over Miguel, we can spend the rest of our lives together. Jody, I understand I'm asking a lot of you. And I know there's bad memories for you here in Harmony, but it would mean the world to me if you came back to Harmony. I mean, you've moved on with your life. You've found happiness. That's what I want. But it won't happen unless I can convince Kay that you and I are split up for good, Charity. I want you to be happy, Miguel. That's one of the reasons why I left. Charity, when you left, I thought my life was over. I know. So did I. But look at us now. You moved on. I made the right choice. Then please, Charity. I love Kay. And if you can find it deep down in your heart to do this for me, it would make a world of difference. I know it will. Besides, when you left town, you know, maybe you thought you were doing the right thing, but it wasn't fair to me, was it? To abandon me without any type of explanation. Look, I know if you came back to town and we could just talk, we'll find some sort of closure. Closure. I hate that word, closure. Every self-help book I read uses it on every other page. 
Charity, please. Charity, are you still there? I'm sorry, Miguel. I can't go back to Harmony right now. Maybe not ever. Okay. I understand, you know, I was, I was just hoping we could at least be friends. Yeah, we can always be that. Well, can you at least talk to Kay on the phone for me? Yes, absolutely. I hope the two of you will be happy together. Okay, great. Look, I promise you're not making a mistake and you will not be sorry. Look, just don't go anywhere. I'm gonna find Kay and I'm gonna have her call you, okay? I'll wait for your call. Thank you, Charity. I'm, I'm glad for you that, that you're happy now. Thank you. Goodbye, Miguel. Well, well, she's not coming back to Harmony, but she says she's going to talk to Kay. Good. Thank you so much for helping me out. I knew I had to find some way to get these crazy ideas out of Kay's head. Uh, I can't blame Kay for being angry at you. You can't fall in love with one woman while you're involved with another. Yeah, right. Anyway, I got to find Kay. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, do that. Bert. Bert, listen, this is Luis from the station. Isn't he answering? It's not like him. He's supposed to be watching Fancy. I better get down there and make sure everything's okay. Finally tying the knot. I'll let you know all the details. Oh, I know, I know. Wish me luck. It is amazing. I, I mean, we're finally getting married. Yes, that's because you trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the luckiest woman in the world. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me call you back later, and I'll give you all the details, okay? Okay, bye. You have made me the happiest man in the world. Can you believe it? We're getting married. <laughs> I know. I, I, I can hardly believe it. <laughs> no second thoughts? No, 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 no. I, Jed, I love you. I've loved you for so long. And, and, and Miles, I adore Miles. We're going to be very happy together. Thank you. And you know what? Just forget all the crazy suspicions I had. It's over. It's over. We're going to move on with our life. I know you love me. You would never do anything to hurt me. Look, I, I've known you for a little while now, and I think I know what's going on inside you. This thing's tearing you apart. Yeah, well, what can I do? Well, I can't tell you that. Well, first and foremost, whatever happens, I can't lose Whitney. I mean, she's my life. Whitney and Miles, you know, I almost lost them once. I'm not going to risk losing them again. Well, then don't. And you won't if you show her how much you love her. You know, I, I should have just told Whitney the truth from day one. Oh, would she have really understood? No. Well, then you gotta choose. You're gonna have to either keep your mouth shut and learn how to live with this secret of yours, or tell Whitney, and you can watch your relationship be destroyed. I'm here. Hurry up in there. I can't wait any longer. I need you so much, and I need you now. What is it? Is something wrong? Nothing. Nothing at all, Whitney. Nothing at all could ruin this moment. Whitney Russell's gonna marry me. <laughs> you have made me so happy, baby. Woohoo! Give me joy. Oh, congratulations. 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 Audit. 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 Merry Christmas from the IRS. 
Enter. Dave. Ethan Winthrop. How are you? Thanks for seeing me on such short notice. Not a problem. We're the IRS. We never sleep. I always have time to see an old school friend who pays his taxes on time. You were checking up on me? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Wild and crazy Dave. You always were the life of the fraternity. Mr. Let's have another kegger. Who would have guessed that you would be an IRS agent? When I started, it was supposed to be a temporary job. But then one day, I looked at a return and realized a little old lady in Omaha was lying to the United States of America about her rental property income. It lit a fire in my belly. Working here is almost a, a religious calling, Ethan. I swore an oath to shake every last dime out of cheating taxpayers until they scream for mercy, and that's exactly what I do 24-7. Wow. <laughs> Great story, Dave. Listen, I'll, I'll get right to the point. Um, I called on behalf of a client, uh, JT Cornell. I have his social security number for you. Well, well. JT Cornell. Seems we've been looking for this character for quite some time now. There's a cell waiting for him down at Guantanamo. You can put tax evaders in Guantanamo? <laughs> We're the government. We can do anything now. All right. <laughs> um, uh, what is it going to take to straighten out his account? Uh, the only way to do that is to pay off his back taxes, his fines, and... <laughs> The interest. Don't you love interest? It starts out small, but gets bigger yeah. and bigger and bigger. <laughs> it gets bigger and, yeah, yeah, I was afraid of that. Um, uh, what's it going to take to uh, get this guy in the clear, Dave? Yeah. <laughs> um... A lot of money, Dave. <laughs> Isn't it? That's what you get for messing around with Uncle Sam. That's what you get. Um, well, it, it has to be paid, so. You're paying this yourself? Yeah, yeah, I am. I'm doing it on behalf of a friend, actually. Mr. Cornell must be some friend. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's not Mr. Cornell. It's another friend that I need to help out. Are you sure you want to do this? We can get the money out of Cornell eventually. We always do. <laughs> I'm sure you do, Dave, but uh, I'm positive. I just need a receipt. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. And it was good seeing you. We should get together sometime, huh? That would be great. Oh, you can meet my joint return and my three deductions. <laughs> Excuse me a minute. Sure. Well, this Jared is even worse news than I am, and that's saying a lot. Hello? JT, it's Ethan here. I am at the IRS. Oh, you're a braver man than I, Gunga Dan. <laughs> Tell me about it. Listen, uh, congratulations. You now have a clean bill of health from Uncle Sam. Oh, excellent. Yeah, well, now it's your turn. I want all the dirt you got on Jared, and I want it now. Oh, oh, no problem at all. Now that I am in the money, and I am free to be seen in public, I think I'm having lobster dinner at the Seascape. So join me and I will hand over everything I have on the very interesting Mr. Casey. Sounds good, I'll see you there. Got gotcha you now, Jared. I don't feel great about any of this. It was fun to start with, but now- You're getting paid, aren't you? Come on, get out of here. Oh, come on, listen. 
I'm not thrilled about hurting Kay either, all right? But in the long run, it's the right thing to do. After we get married, I'm gonna take her on the greatest honeymoon of all time. Around the world, first class. Wine in her, dine her every night, all right? And then once I start to fulfill her every desire, she's gonna forget all about Mr. Miguel Lopez Fitzgerald. I hope you know what you're doing. Let's go. Well, thank you, come on. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, what's wrong? You upset? No, no, I've just been really emotional lately. You know, it's a wedding and everything. Yeah. Not having second thoughts, are you? No. Now I see everything very clearly now. Uh, do you know where Miguel is, by chance? Huh. Uh, I think he was in the sunroom, um, earlier, but, you know, that was kind of a while ago. Oh, okay. Let me check. Thanks. Okay. Okay, where are you? Okay. What? Miguel wasn't okay. in this. Okay, 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 okay. I need to talk to you. Miguel, no. Look, listen. Oh, my God, you look beautiful. What? I'm so sorry, but I have to do this. Oh. Come on. Come on, Fancy. Pick up. <sighs> Damn it. Voicemail again. Bert. Bert. It's Luis. Where the hell are you? Damn it. I've known Bert for years. It's not like him to leave his post for this long. Something must be wrong. My, 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 this Jared guy's been a very busy boy. <laughs> Ethan is gonna get his money's worth. Won't he be shocked to find out what's in here? Really, we are so happy for you. Congratulations. You guys are going to be great together, I'm sure. That's the plan. Yes, and, and, and it's a little sudden, but you know, this is the next step, right? That's exactly right. It is the next step. And uh, I think we should break out another bottle because I would love to toast to your wedding. Yes. Well, I'm going to go get another bottle. Baby, come with me. Oh. I don't want you to leave my side mm -hmm. ever. <laughs> well, I want to make a toast, actually. Well, right now, I mean, we kind of need to wait for Whitney and Chad to get back. No, that's nothing to do with Whitney and Chad. I think I have something to celebrate. Actually, correction there, we have something to celebrate. Just the two of us. Wow, you're so mysterious. <laughs> Come on, clink glasses. What's the toast? Hold on, woman, I'm getting there. Hi, JT, where are you? Stay away from this guy. Listen to me. I got the goods on you, man. You're finished. I have to get out of here. I'm allergic to mothballs. What are uh, you doing? I'm kissing the woman I love. It's... What I do when I'm happy. Well, I'm glad one of us is. Listen, I have great news. Luis, help me find Charity, Kay. <sighs> find her? Yes. She's waiting for you to call her right now. She wants to talk to you. What? Kay, I know you still think I still have feelings for Charity, and I don't. You're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. If you just call her, she'll tell you the truth. I don't love her anymore, and she doesn't love me. Oh, oh my god. Oh, my god. You're unbelievable. What? You want me to call Charity? Our happiness depends on this call, Kay. Oh, 
This is bad. This is not good. If, if Kate talks to Charity, she'll tell him that she hasn't seen Miguel in years. And Kate will find out that I'm lying. Funny how the truth always comes out. Oh, you shut up already. How am I gonna get myself out of this one? Wake up! Bert! Bert, where the hell are you? Bert! What happened? Luis, he snuck up on me, I'm sorry. That's fancy. In the house. With the perp? Go for backup. Christmas. Teresa's not even gonna let you be a doorman at Crane Industries. 